Hi guys, today I would like to talk about my search for the perfect camera bag for hiking. And spoiler alert, can I find it? So I had a few bags over the years. I have one I use for street photography, another one for landscape photography, and one for a simple one day hike. But I never had a bag for hiking properly, you know, two days hike and camping somewhere for a few nights as well. One of my good friends, Greg, took me to Mount Kosciuszko, which is the tallest mountain here in Australia. And uh, we did a two day hike and we slept in a tent at the top. And I love the experience. I think waking up at 5 a.m. and taking pictures of the top of a mountain is amazing. And I did fall in love with uh, landscape photography that day. For this trip, Greg gave me a 55 liter bag and also uh, I brought my shoulder bag that I use for street photography. And it was an ideal. Uh, I like the idea of the shoulder bag because you get uh, quick access to the camera. But because it's on one side, it's not very good and it will mess up your balance. And also it wasn't rainproof. There is a cover, but you can't put the cover and carry the bag at the same way around your shoulder. So each time it started to rain, I had to put it back in my backpack. And it took forever, and after a while, I didn't want to shoot anymore. So when I came back to Sydney, I was determined to find the perfect camera bag for hiking. And the first thing I did, I went on Google. I found a company called Epstop. They have some great bags, and they're actually made for photographers who likes to hike. I love the concept, so I went to a few stores in Sydney and I tried them on. And when I tried them on, I realized that they're beautiful, you know, great construction and design, but there is not enough space to fit everything. So if you go on a one-day hike, or maybe two-day hike, and you have a friend carrying the tent and all the camping equipment, I think it's fine. But if you're going to be on your own, you're going to be camping for a few days, you need a lot of water, um, well, in this case, you need something bigger. And this is when I realized that it doesn't really matter because even if you buy a bag like this from F-Stop, you're gonna still need to buy a second bag so you keep your camera really close and you can, you know, you can shoot quickly. So I decided to get a proper hiking bag. I got a 65 liter from Mountain Design. They had a great promotion that day, plus the bag comes with a rain cover slash uh, travel bag. So you save quite you know, a bit of money on not getting some extra accessories for this bag. But then I still needed to buy a second device to hold my camera close to my body. So I looked at the capture clip from Peak Design. Great system you know, to hold the camera on your shoulder. But then when it starts raining, or if you go through branches and rocks, and you can easily scratch the lens or scratch your camera. So it might be great if you walk around, I don't know, walk around a field, but if you walk around bushes, especially in Australia, you need a different bag. And this is where I found the Think Tank Digital Holster bag. And I love it. Honey, are you putting your bag again? No, I'm not. So there is a special flap on the back that slides under the chest strap of your hiking bag, and it means that the camera rests on your chest. And trust me, after a few minutes, you'll forget that you have a camera with you. It's really good, and especially if the strap that you have on your hiking bag has a bit of flex. It will move with you when you walk, and you won't feel the bag anymore. It's magical. The camera bag is padded, so it will be protected from scratches. And also, if it starts raining, there is a rain cover. You just quickly put it on, it takes a second, and you can keep on walking. And one of the great features, there is a zip at the bottom of the bag. You can unzip it, it will extend the bag, and it means that you can leave the hood of your lens on. And this will save you a lot of time. What I like about the bag is it comes in a lot of different sizes. So if you have, like me, a Canon 80D and a 70-200 lens, they will have a bag for you. But with this camera bag, you can only fit one lens and one body. So if you have multiple bodies and lenses, uh, you'll have to find another solution. So that was my search for the perfect hiking bag. If you're serious into hiking, if you want to uh, do a couple of two or three days hike, and you need to bring a lot of water and food, I think for me, this is the best solution. Get a proper hiking bag and then get a holster um, for your camera. It will keep it really safe and protected and um, you'll get super quick access when you want to take a picture. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you have a perfect hiking bag or a different setup that you use, leave this in the comment below. I'll be, I'll be curious to know about it. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Bye.